Today's hitting segment brought to you by Louisville Slugger. All right, guys, hey, I love the load. We always talk about getting ready, but a swing has got to have a finish as well. We're talking about an explosive finish. When we're looking to finish it up, we want to make sure we're complete at the point of contact. We've been talking about being tight. We've been talking about being connected. That's what it is. We need to be a force at the point of contact. May the force be with you. Ah, oh, that's funny. I don't care what you say. Hey, we want to make sure that we're finishing through the ball. We've shown you all kind of drills for that. And we've got to trust the legs. Trust the legs. They will always bring you home. We want to learn to generate from the bottom half coming up. All right, first drill, we're going to move over here. The guy's already at it. Brecken's got what I call my happy Gilmore. He's just going to walk into the ball, right, left. Boom, see the nice explosion right there. All right, go ahead. I'll put it on there for you. Right, left, right, left. Boom, hold that finish. And again, you see he had his momentum coming toward the tee. Obviously, he didn't want to do that. That would have sent him out to calf. He had to turn that into an explosive rotation and finish through the ball. One more, big man. That way, swing the back. Right, left, boom. Take a look at Austin here, all right? So now as he starts to come through the zone, Ethan is delivering the ball. All right, let me squeeze this in here. We got our ball coach radar. We're gonna get to see this ball's released at 25 miles an hour, or 26, right around in there, 27. And so now if you look at the conversion chart that's showing, at 27 miles an hour, you can start to see that's some quick reactionary time. Boy, he's nice and center base, you can see all the lower half getting through the ball. You see that's rotating. We got torque. We're looking right down his barrel at uh, bat lag. Excellent looking swing. He finishes this up. He comes, drives through the ball, coming right at us at about 93 miles an hour. Guys, I, I can't stress enough how important tools are like this if you want to go to that next level. Again, it, it's filling your toolbox up with the things that you need as a ball player. I, I think instruments that are allowing us to measure where we are helps us to go where we're going. We're talking about finishing the swing. We're armed with the tools to do it. We got the drills to do it. We're gonna keep on swinging, making ourselves better. We'll see you guys on the next segment.